Hello everyone. In this video, uh, I want to review. I want to talk about the IKEA Smart LED Panel Light. That's what I'm showing you here. So in the video, I want to show you how to get it connected, um, how to get it connected to the app and connected to re the remote control. Um, so in some of my previous videos, uh, I mentioned that I'm doing a project to replace all of the light switches in my house into smart switches. There are a lot of things you can do once you do that. Um, most of the switches in my house, they have neutral wire. So it's a actually pretty straightforward project. I use uh, TP-Link smart switches to replace them. Uh, however, I do have two switches in my house that do not have neutral wire. One is in my basement, another is here in my laundry room. Uh, for the one uh, in my basement, I really had a hard time to find a solution because uh, uh, I have a fluorescent light in there. Um, and uh, most of the switches, when they do not require um, neutral wire, they are actually dimmer switch. And the dimmer switch do not work very well with fluorescent light. So in the end, downstairs in my basement, I actually had to buy uh, IKEA smart plug and smart button to get them integrated. And now in my laundry room, I, I'm trying to find out, figure out what do I do? Because as you see here, I actually tried GE smart switch before because last year GE had uh, uh, came up with some uh, new three wire smart switch that do not require neutral wire. Um, it didn't work very well. Uh, the connection just dropped after using it for one month. Uh, you, you can see the switch itself is still working. I can't uh, turn it on and off. It just uh, the Wi-Fi connection dropped. Um, so I I think I gave up just uh, using any uh, switch solutions. Uh, so I want to take a uh, take a look at the light fixture to see what I can do. Um, because uh, as you can see, the light itself is fluorescent light. Uh, I'm not, actually not a really big fan of these lights because uh, they are just outdated old technology and uh, they are actually not really good for the environment because uh, as you probably know, some of them have mercury in them. Um, and then, you know, they, they sometimes they flicker, they have this buzzing noise. So uh, I want to replace them with the modern technology, the LED panel lights and IKEA they happen to have a smart uh, LED panel light that can be controlled by remote uh, remote control and by app in there. So this is what I bought, um, the panel light. So the dimension here is um, uh, the height is 35 inch. Uh, the width here is 12, it's pretty big in there. So LED panel lights mean this entire thing is uh, actually a big panel. There is no bulb. Um, in there you have to deal with. Uh, it's actually pretty bright. So the entire light fixture is 2200 lumens. Um, as you probably know, I, I think regularly uh, a regular bulb is probably 800. So this uh, panel light is uh, more than two bulbs. Um, so the, the energy consumption and uh, the power is 29 watts. So it's gonna save you a lot of energy in there. Uh, now I want to show the back side of it. Um, as you can see, there are four cables all together. This is uh, probably the ground cable. Um, and then in this bundle, there are three cables um, in there. And uh, you certainly gonna need to mount them on your ceiling and then get the cable connected. Um, so before you do anything, uh, the most important thing is uh, you got to find your electric breaker box and uh, turn off the power before you connect disconnect any cables. If you're not sure about this, it might be better to find an electrician to do it. All right, so for the next step, I'm just gonna turn off the power. Uh, I will um, disconnect my existing light fixture and uh, I will show you how to connect this new light fixture. All right, so my old light fixture is out. Uh, you can see that uh, there is uh, one hot wire, one neutral wire, and one ground cable, three cables in there. Um, now, if you look at uh, the light fixture in here, uh, so basically, 
you have a hot, a neutral, and a ground cable. And there's also a ground cable on the bracket as well. So the connection should be straightforward. You just uh, use a wire nut to get all the cables connected to all the cables on, on the ceiling. And then uh, you can mount the bracket to the ceiling first. Um, and, and then the light fixture, um, there is a clip you can clip onto the bracket. Uh, and then there's uh, set screws on the side. You can just you, you you will hold hold it in place so that it will not fall. All right. So I have some uh, wiring to do now. All right. Uh, so as you can see, I finally got the panel lights connected. It's turned on. So uh, there's a lot of physical work uh, to wire the cables correctly to mount it up. But I finally got it down. Uh, as you can see, I turned it off. It's more of a yellowish than I like, but then I believe for this light, you can adjust how warm you want light to be. Uh, so I'll have to do it after I get it connected to, um, to the app. Uh, so one thing I want to mention is uh, uh, actually about the switch in there. As you probably noticed, I originally had the G3 wire switch in there. Uh, it's those kind of switch that you do not need. Uh, it's it, that kind of smart switch that you do not need a neutral wire. It's basically a dimmer switch. Um, actually, IKEA on their work instruction, they said that uh, it will not work with a dimmer switch. Um, so the G switch I had in there, uh, it's not really doing any smart thing because uh, the connection was a lot, was just dropped. Uh, I was planning to keep it as dumb switch, but then I find that um, it's actually causing some uh, a buzzing issue on the light. Um, so when I had the G switch in there, um, the the light just they're just buzzing and very annoying. Um, so I was trying to find out what caused the problem because this is an LED light. Uh, so in the end, I decided to just switch back to a dumb switch. So after I started to use dumb switch. Uh, the noise is gone. So just to, to be careful that uh, if you happen to be to have a dimmer switch in here, take it off. Uh, these lights will not work with dimmer switch. You are supposed to use their remote control in their app to dim it. Uh, so next thing what I'm going to do is uh, I will get their remote control connected. So most of the IKEA smart home uh, products, the way to get it connected is you need to first connect the remote to the IKEA hub, and then you connect the remote to the light to synchronize everything together. All right, uh, now, now I'm just going to go to my basement to show you how to connect the remote first. All right, so to get the remote connected in the IKEA app, you click the gear. Um, add the device. Uh, the device we want to add is a remote control. And then this is the one I'm having next. Open the back of the remote control. And then it will ask you to quickly click, click it four times and a red light will flash. Uh, one thing I want to mention here, I actually made a mistake, is you will not be able to see the red light here. The red light is actually showing in front. So let's, let me just do it again. One, two, three, four. And see the red light is flashing. And then after it stops flashing, wait for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, hold the remote within two centimeters of the gateway. Press and hold the button next to the remote. Okay. All right, it says device fund. All right, remote control find. Perfect. Okay. Um, all right, I'm going to name it to avoid some confusion. So the room, I'm going to call it the laundry room. Uh, 
and our remote control, I will call it the laundry light. All right. Mm, call it a laundry light switch. All right. So, all right. So next one I'm going to do is uh, I'll try to connect the remote to the light. All right. Now I'm going to try to get the panel light connected. So click the setting, uh, add new device. And uh, where's my panel light? Okay, here's the panel light. Turn on your light. Make sure yeah, that like, your light is installed and it's on. Select the controller you're trying to use. So this is the one I'm going to use. Next. Connect the light. Hold your remote control within two centimeter of the sticker. Press and hold the button for at least ten seconds. Okay, let's try. All right, it says device find. So. I guess uh, it's uh, almost done. Um, a rename. Um, I'm going to call it uh, Laundry Light, certainly. Okay. Um, I think everything's done. So, all right. Um, so the light is connected to the remote and uh, the light is also connected to the app. Um, so I want to show uh, all the features you can do with the light itself. So in this remote, um, you have um, certain off and on feature. And uh, you can dim it, right? Currently, I have it as brightest. You can certainly dim it down. You see it's getting darker, darker. And then let's make it bright up. All right, um, so another thing uh, you can do with this remote is uh, with these LED panel lights, you can actually adjust um, how warm you want the color is. Uh, so it's not, it's not a color light, you cannot change the color, but then you can change it from the warmest to like the pure white and the, the coolest color. Um, so one thing I find weird is um, the only way you can change uh, the color is actually through the remote, uh, through these buttons. Uh, you can see currently, I think I have it as the whitest or I would say the, the coolest uh, color. And then if I can adjust it, you can see now it's getting warmer. Um, I'm not sure if it's clear, you can see it through the light itself. But then you can see the color of this room, the tone of the room is uh, getting warmer and getting yellowish. Um, now I'm just, I'm going to do it further. Now I think this is the, yeah, I think this is the warmest setting. You can see the tone of this room is very warm and yellowish. And then the light is kind of turning red almost. And then certainly, this is the color I prefer in the laundry room. Uh, I don't need to be warm. I just want it to be bright. So it's a white color. Um, so as I mentioned, um, you can only there's um, there you can only do it on the remote because if you see this app in there, you can certainly turn it on and off, and then you can dim it. But then I really look through the app. Then there is really no place I can change the color um I, I can even go to the light and uh, go to the light there's nothing i can do uh, another thing i find weird is even though the ikea app does not offer you a place to change the color but if you go to the alexa app um if you can see in there in the laundry light um, you can actually change some color in there. So, for example, I'm I'm here. This is the routine I'm setting up. When I say turn up downstairs, I want to turn off all of the TP-Link smart switches and also this uh, laundry LED light from IKEA. 
and then currently I have it off. But then if you click it, you, you can find out is um, IKEA actually offer you something. Not only you can turn it on and off, you can also uh, adjust the brightness from uh, Alexa. And also you can change uh, the color. You can change the temperature in there. And apparently there are five temperatures you can set up. Um, you can also, uh, there's also names in there. So I believe these names are from Ikea, but then somehow Ikea offer these uh, options through Alexa, but then doesn't offer it through their own app. So uh, if you want to adjust the, uh, the, the temperature in there, you probably can set up some uh, Alexa routine in there, but then not in the, uh, um, the Ikea app. Um, all right. So. I think uh, that's uh, about everything about these uh, LED panel lights. I really like it. Uh, they're much better than fluorescent light. Uh, they look good on my laundry room and they uh, they finally offer me a smart solution in this room. As I mentioned before, I do not have a neutral wire in my switches, so I cannot do the uh, smart switch method. Uh, by having a smart uh, light in here, I can finally group everything together in Alexa so that uh, if I want to turn off everything downstairs, if I want to turn off my entire house, I can do that. Um, all right. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, uh, I hope uh, you find my video helpful. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel.